Well, if you're ever looking for a good book, you know you can always find the right one at Cal's. But coming up later this month, teens will also get to find the right look for prom. Here to tell us all about the Cal's Prom Dress Drive is Communications Director Tamika Lee. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about this. You know, what is exactly this prom dress drive? That it is exactly what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. It is an opportunity for people to donate dresses for teenagers to pick up in time for their prom. So we accept any type of formal attire. So it can be cocktail dresses, actual like evening dresses, bridesmaids dresses, anything that could make for a good prom picture. <laughs> yeah, anything that could work for teens yeah. to be able to dress up and feel like yeah. they, they got the right prom outfit. Exactly, exactly. And we also accept accessories. Mm -hmm. uh, so if people have nice jewelry, shoes, anything that will help to complete the ensemble. Oh, great. So for those who are like, you know what, I have a bunch of prom dresses hanging mm -hmm. in my closet that I'm not doing anything with. Uh, how can folks help out with this? We are accepting them at the McMath Library, which is on John Barrow, mm -hmm. and you can drop them off anytime between now and March 27th. The library is open most days, 9 to 6, but there are a couple of days each week where it's open until 8 o'clock, so you can drop them off anytime during open hours. And for teenagers who are interested in, you know, finding their right look, um, mm -hmm. do they pick them up on a certain day? How does that work? Yes, we actually have a shopping day. Oh, nice. on April 1st and that will take place from 9 to 6 so uh, I know we're calling it a shopping day but it is a free <laughs> you know a free dress and free accessories but yes if you're ready when you're ready to come and pick out those awesome prom <laughs> that awesome prom attire April 1st is the day to do it. That's the day. Awesome. So um, how long has Cal's been doing this? Is this the first year or has this been kind of a, a tradition? We've actually been doing it for a little while. Mm -hmm. We did it the first time in 2018. Um, we stopped for a few years. It was on a hiatus because of COVID, uh, but it's actually grown just every year that we've done it. We started out in 2018 with about 300 dresses wow. and it has 700 is what we collected wow. last year. Oh so gosh. we are, you know, excited that the community is so excited about helping with this program. Uh, and it's also a good way for us to be, you know, participate in sustainable activities yeah. because oh, yeah. these are dresses and materials that are just sitting in someone's closet. They may end up in the landfill. This is a way to keep that from happening. So great. All right. So hopefully if you have things that you would like to donate and that you're just sitting in your closet, then this is a great opportunity. And I'm sure for the teenagers, it's, it's good for them too to be able to have their new look. Yes. Yes. They are really excited. It's always wonderful to see all the happy faces. Exactly. All right, yeah. Tamika, thanks for joining us today. Uh, remember, you can drop these off at that Cal's location. And uh, then on April 1st is the big shopping day for the teens. That's right. Awesome. All right. Well, 